Hey guys, Will here, and this is something I've been using over the past few weeks. It's a sleep tracking mat. I bought this as an alternative to using a smartwatch or fitness tracking band, just to see what kind of quality of sleep I was getting. This one tracks your sleep cycles, breathing habits, and even has snoring detection built in. To start off with, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. There's a quick start guide, and then the sleeping tracking mat itself, which has a long three meter braided cable with a USB end on it. And there's also a power brick included too. And this one's currently priced at $79 or 115 if you're here in Australia, which I think is pretty reasonable considering all the types of helpful data that this one can record. Now onto the design. It's made from a premium feeling fabric that's only five mil thick and 630 mil long or 25 inches. It has two main sensors built in, the first being a pneumatic sensor for measuring respiratory rate to monitor any changes in breathing, heartbeats, and body movements across the mattress. The second is a sound sensor, which picks up any audio signals while you sleep. It has specific signals related to snoring, so if you have been snoring throughout the night, it'll let you know the next day. You can see a full report of how you slept through the night via a smartphone app called HealthMate. It's available on both Android and iPhone. Following each night, it will transfer all the data that it gathers to the HealthMate app. HealthMate can also synchronize with other health tracking apps such as Apple Health and Google Fit. There's no battery built into the mat itself. Instead, there's a constant power supply from the USB cable to an outlet. The setup with this one is actually quite simple. You position it under your mattress so it's around chest height. And if you don't have a solid base and instead have a slatted base like I do, you just need to slip a flat sheet of cardboard underneath the mat to make sure that it works properly or anything else you might have that's flat and sturdy. And once you're done, you simply plug it in and connect it through the HealthMate app and it will go through a 15 minute calibration cycle. This is so the pneumatic sensor can measure your respiratory rate correctly. So this is what a full report on the app looks like after a few nights of using this one. You have a bar graph showing you how long you spent in the three main types of sleep states REM, light, and deep sleep. Below that is the overall sleep score out of 100 points that is also graded with a traffic light type scaling system. Red for bad, amber for average, and green representing a good night's sleep. The overall sleep score is compiled using six different parameters. Duration, regularity, time to sleep, depth, interruptions, and time to get up. And each of these has a traffic light grading system as well which gives you another level of insight into the area of sleep that could be improved. If you tap on each parameter box, it'll give you a detailed breakdown of why you scored so well for that particular parameter or really badly, and what you can do to perhaps make it a little better. For example, on Saturday, March the 27th, I slept for a duration of four hours and 51 minutes. And when I tap on duration, it recommends that A, I sleep a little longer. Most people need seven to eight hours and B, that this single stat is what makes up more than half of the total sleep score. So another helpful bit of info was under the regularity parameter, which stated that your internal clock, which dictates when you get hungry and tired, tries to synchronize with your sleep schedule. And working on making those times you get to bed and rise in the morning more consistent is better for your health overall. Moving on to what's below the breakdown of sleep score within the app now, which is your average sleeping heart rate number and a graph to show you what your heart rate was doing throughout the night. The last pieces of data are breathing disturbances and snoring detection, which help you to see if you might be suffering from sleep apnea, which is a condition when breathing problems occur too many times during sleep. One of the main benefits of the sleep tracker is that it's a set and forget system. You don't have to constantly recharge the battery or set it up over and over again, or tell it to track your sleep. It just does it all automatically. And speaking of automatically, to make sure that your sleep isn't disturbed by any radio frequencies, it will switch off its Wi-Fi connection as soon as it's detected that you've gone to bed. The Withings mat will work pretty well on any type of bed. If you do have a slatted bed frame base like I mentioned earlier, you just need to put something flat in between the wooden slats and the mat in order for it to work properly. And you don't have to worry about the power cord not reaching as it's three meters in length and easily reaches either side of the bed to an outlet without any worries. It also works with if this then that. So if you're into making it a little smarter, you can do things like make it turn off your lights for you when it notices you've gone to bed or turn them back on again when you get out of bed in the morning. You can even make it track the time you go to bed each night throughout the week and it will record it to an Excel spreadsheet. Some of its limitations are that it can only track one person's data throughout the night. So if you have two people using the same bed, 
it can only pick up from one person. So you'll need two separate mats. The data it does collect though is very accurate I found. And if you don't wanna see the data every following day, you can easily just look at it at the end of the week to get a general overview if you've A, slept enough, or B, the kind of quality of sleep that you get. So who exactly is this one for? Well, if you don't like wearing a smartwatch to bed, for example, and find it uncomfortable, then this is a great alternative. And once the initial setup's done, you don't have to worry about it again. If you're looking for a way to improve your sleep, this is another great reason to pick this one up. It gives you enough information to let you know if it's something really simple or something a bit more complex. I mean, it could just be something as simple as getting to bed earlier more frequently. Or maybe you experience breathing interruptions regularly throughout the night and don't realize it. A tool like this can give you a bit more insight into whether this is happening. And if it is, you can seek proper medical treatment. Who isn't this for? Well, if you don't have power outlets near your bed, for example, this one you won't be able to use, unless you run, of course, a long extension cord to make it work. Otherwise, if you do own a smartwatch and don't find it uncomfortable to, to wear at night when you're sleeping, then I probably wouldn't pick this one up either because you can just do all the sleep tracking through your smartwatch. To summarize, I like how there's no charge to keep all of your data within the HealthMate app. It's very much a set and forget device and the data is accurate enough to give you enough information to improve the quality of your sleep. It's a great alternative as well to having to wear a device to bed. So it definitely wins in the comfort department. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and stick around for more tech videos coming soon. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.